Nashville is widely regarded as the entertainment capital of the South. Tennessee lawmakers, however, have passed a law that bans some entertainers, male and female impersonators, otherwise known as drag performers. The new law makes some drag performances a potential felony and gives police new power to determine what is considered obscene. The nature of the bill that scares me the most is the vagueness of it and the fact that it could be enforced in a bunch of ways that we don't really know. But where did this all start? How did drag queens get dragged into politics? For that, we turn to the city of Jackson, Tennessee. This past year in my community, we had a local group decide to do a, quote, family-friendly drag show. When they listed this as family-friendly, my community rose up. Tennessee Rep Chris Todd, a Republican, recently indicated the community of Jackson never even saw the scheduled Pride performance before raising thousands of dollars in donations and filing an injunction to prevent it from taking place. Todd introduced the new bill under obscenity and pornography to prevent, quote, adult cabaret performers like drag queens from performing in public spaces where children could be present. Those who oppose the bill say an obscenity law is already in the books, and this is a target of hate against the LGBTQIA plus community. I'm curious how many drag shows you've been to, and I'm curious um, why targeting this, because I'm thinking about a place where men wear tights in WWE wrestling, and one third of the audience at least is children. But somehow someone dressing up and dancing is the problem. Early drag dates back to the Shakespearean era, almost a century before the foundation of the American government. And with shows like the Emmy award-winning RuPaul's Drag Race, drag queen story hours, and drag brunches popping up across the country, drag is more popular than ever. It is pure theater and fun for everyone. I am an actor who has created their own character to share with the world. A rally to oppose the bill was held at Tennessee's state capitol on Valentine's Day this year. Phil Cabucci, the founder and executive director of Inclusion Tennessee, was there. Really, the idea of this bill specifically puts uh, drag performers in a box that aligns them with adult entertainment and says that what their performances are are sexual and uh, deviant and inappropriate for um, people of all kinds. Um, and, and youth in particular. Many conservative puddits have been critical of drag queens, with some indicating the art form sexually grooms children. Groomers can't reproduce, so instead they recruit, so they go serve on school boards, and they go do drag queens. Sexualizing children is totally wrong. It's the most wrong thing of all, and it just shows how totally passive and out of it the rest of us are that we haven't acknowledged that and done something about it. We spoke with Dr. Elizabeth Jetleg, professor of psychology at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Drag performances, you know, is, is something that is completely separate from childhood sexual grooming and completely separate from childhood sexual abuse. I think that, you know, banning of performances of drag, drag shows is, again, it's, it's a difficult topic because obviously people have different perspectives on this issue, but you know, in, if the rationale is to prevent childhood sexual, uh, pr protect children from being sexually abused, that is not, you know, going to be helpful in this instance. Although Tennessee is the first state to make drag performances in front of children a potential felony, there are at least 10 other states looking to follow suit. Making laws specific to, to drag performances does not, uh, is not, necessary that you know the majority of drag performances can be done in ways that are not obscene um, and that we have no research evidence to suggest that child children being exposed to people dressed in you know different clothing um, increases their risk for long-term psychological consequences or childhood sexual abuse. We reached out to Tennessee State Majority Leader Jack Johnson who declined to speak with us on camera but said in a statement this legislation is about protecting children. This legislation would also prohibit sexually explicit adult entertainment from being performed on public property, and the bill does not ban drag shows in public. Clearly, what we're talking about is people's freedom of expression. You know, and the reality is our freedom of expression is stronger than their power to criminalize people.